Welcome to Lesson 1 in the Tin Man Project. We're going to begin by setting up our project in the project window. I've already created my scene file here, but I'm going to go, go ahead and just uh, run you through that real quickly. So this is new to Maya 2012, which is what we're modeling in. So let's go ahead and select the project window. You can see I've already created a Tin Man project. So go ahead and click New type in your project here. You might want to add your last name on there to identify it. And check the location after that. Uh, in my case I'm using the default directory under Documents Maya Projects. I'd recommend either saving it there or on the desktop and not working off of a USB thumb drive. It could be a little bit faulty. Alright, and then just go ahead and click Accept. It's going to create all these directories for you and then you want to go ahead and set your project now. So you would go under that project folder, uh, not into it, just selecting it. And hit set. And go ahead and save the scene. That's what I've done here. I've already saved my, I'm calling it a Tin Man Model, version 1. You might want to add your name on there if you want to. And you can just see my directory path up here on top, working out of Tin Man Model 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my image planes. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, front view, just selecting the uh, in the panel itself, View. Go down to Image Planes and Import. And I'm going to select the front view. There it is right there. And click OK and we're going to have to make some adjustments to it. I can already see it's not quite on center. We're going to have to move these around, but I'm just going to go ahead and bring everything in and then we'll make the adjustments. So I'm going to go to the side panel now under View, Image Plane, Import Image, Side. See this one's off uh, the origin as well. I'll have to slide that back a little bit. And we have a top view as well. Let's import that. There's the top. Okay. So it actually looks like it is uh, right on center, so we will go ahead and leave that. So I'm going to start with the uh, front view. Actually, it's the second icon over here called Camera Attributes. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up the Attribute Editor. The second uh, or the third tab over is Image Plane 1. That's the first one we imported. The first thing I'm going to select is Display. I'm going to say Looking Through Camera. This is going to turn it off in our perspective view and just keep it in the front view. And I'm going to slide down to the bottom and this is where we're going to make the corrections as far as sliding it around and uh, we need to actually move it over in, you can tell right down here which direction we need to move it over. So it's going to be positive X. So this is X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to start by uh, moving it over. Try. 0.25 and that looks uh, fairly close. Let's see where he's at there. And I actually want to uh, go ahead and raise him up so we're using this as the bottom. So that's going to be in the Y direction. This is Y here, positive Y. 10.8. There we go. And he's uh, center origin. Okay, I'm going to hold down my spacebar and go to my side view now. Make the same corrections under Attribute Editor Image Plane. Starting with the top, I'm going to select Looking Through Camera. Slide down to here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and raise him up. Alright, spacebar going to the top view. And the top view. Uh, actually looks pretty good. We may have to make a few adjustments if it's not exactly to uh, scale here with this one. So let's take this back to our front view. Alright, so we have our image plane set up and the next thing I'm going to do is make a custom shelf here. Uh, right now we're just looking at the polygon shelf. I'm going to go to custom and you can see I've already got a few things on here way you make a custom shelf is uh, pulling uh, down the menu. You hold down Control shift and 
select on whatever it is you're wanting. Uh, in this case I'm going to use a cube. You can see it just popped up right there. It's a subdivision cube on grid. And you can actually slide these around. I'm going to place it right here. And I will just kind of run through each of these that I have. This is the uh, delete by type history. I selected that one. And the next one over is Center Pivot Point, which is under Modify Center Pivot. I selected that one. And under the Polygon Menu Set, uh, this is pretty much where all of these are coming from. This is Extrude, which is under Edit Mesh. First one down, Extrude. Make sure to keep faces together is checked on. Usually is by default. So I've selected that one and uh, everything else in here. I can just kind of tear this off and show you. Uh, this one here is the Insert Edge Loop Tool. The next one over here, you can hover over all of these and uh, I'll tell you what they are. It is the uh, Interactive Split Tool. And then we have a Merge Vertices Tool. Actually, I'm going to delete that one and put a different one in here. I'm going to select the Merge Vertice tool. I think I just had Merge right there, so I'm going to hold down Control shift click on that. Slide it over here with the middle mouse. Okay, the next one over here is one that I like to use. It's Delete the Selection, Selected Vertices and Edge. So it's this one right here. And that's pretty much it for my uh, Edit Mesh tools. The next one I have over here is a Create Polygon Sphere on Grid, as well as a Cube and Cylinder. And this is a CV Curve tool. And that is found under the Create. And the Polygon Primitives were all under here. I have Interactive Creation turned off, so everything will be created in the on the Origin. So I used a sphere, a cube, and a cylinder. That's pretty much all we're going to be using for this. All right, and right now that's pretty much all we need in our custom shelf. If we need to add things a little bit later on, we'll go ahead and add those as we need them, but this should uh, pretty much cover everything we're doing for this modeling lesson. And in the next lesson, we are gonna start creating a library of different shapes starting with the torso piece right here. We're going to create this first and uh, we'll continue on making the, the arm pieces and legs and head. And once we've kind of assembled a library of different components of joints and uh, whatnot, we'll start uh, assembling him and making the, the in-between kind of connection pieces as we need them. So we'll do that in the next lesson.